Oh, Ace Ace. Yeah. Uh, you really should watch the anime though, Yoshifukashi no Uta. Yeah. It's really damn good. I'm already caught up with the manga, dude. That's how good that shit is. Like, in two days, I read all 143 chapters, bro. That's saying something. It's rare for me to dedicate that amount of time to something. Especially considering I don't have time. For anything. Alright. I think I'm about to head off too. You guys have a good night. Hopefully we can play tomorrow. Hopefully we can play tomorrow. The night where I stay on late. <laughs> the night Frosty stays on late is the night that me and the Colossal disappear. That's sad. Alright. Well that plus I'm gonna go fucking choke the chicken. So... Damn. Alright, you have a good night, Colossal. Have a good night, Frosty. Right, you I'll see you at work. Uh, Although I will say this, work is not going to be as much of a vibe without Maria. We'll still live. I mean, I'm here, so. Nah, we'll be, we'll be like, perfectly fine if, we're, if I'm being honest. Well, the only thing that would make it not fine is if me and Garrig fight. I doubt you guys will. He has been ver he has been a bit better about taking away my men. Yeah, because I tell him no. That, and also Claudia talked to him, and was like, yeah, you gotta stop doing that. Like, they're scheduled to help with guest service, and you're just taking them. Yeah. That, plus I also told her that <laughs> that I was gonna beat the shit <laughs> if he pushes me beyond and she doesn't want to lose two managers because she knows that Garrig will end up in the hospital and I'll end up in jail or fired. She doesn't want that to happen. Probably both. Yeah. Both of those things. She doesn't want to lose two managers. Because then it'll be back to how it started with her, Vero. No, because it, it'll be worse than when it started because it'll be like just her, Vero, and Maria. And Leticia. Also, I really hope that I don't work with those fucking new employees. Damn. Nate is cool, like there's a new Nate, but fucking Mason's younger brother is the stupidest employee I've ever seen in my entire life. I assumed, that, I, I assumed it was Mason Ball's younger brother. You know Mason Ball? They look exactly the same as I know who Mason Ball is. Who is he? No, but who is the guy? Because here's the thing is that the guy, like, he, Garrett. yeah, there's Garrett. Yeah, he's Mason's younger brother. But Mason, even before I worked here, he was no, like, is there like four new guys? Pretty much. But, um, Mason was known for being very, very stupid. Like, he was known as, like, yeah. I heard that he used to be skinny and weak, but everybody says that he takes stuff, like steroids and shit. He, he, he definitely does. That's what everybody's been telling me. Hold on, let me look at this schedule again. I really, really don't want to work with them. Yeah, the schedule. Do you have it updated? Because they, were, they weren't on it. They weren't on it. Uh, none of them were? Not, not the ones that matter, because here's the thing, is that the one person that I don't want is Garrett. I really don't want to work with that fucking idiot. Like, he pisses me off more than any new employee has ever pissed me off ever, well, other than Jimmy. Okay. I talked to her about it. Okay. Garrett, I believe he works tomorrow. Who's Armand? I don't know. I just know that if Garrett's work. 
I don't know who Armand is. Oh, no, no, no. That's Saturday. Do if I'm... Dude, I don't... I almost want to call out because of that kid. Like, he no, legit makes... He's, he's not that bad. <sighs> Who's the other Nathan? He's cool, he's cool. Well, watching watching that kid just stand around and look at me oh, makes. That's who the other okay, I worked with him today. He's cool. He's cool. He's friends with Ethan, Ethan's crew, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but he gets like he tries to do his job. I don't really like Ethan's he's, crew, but Ethan kinda, himself is cool. He's kind of okay. Ethan's crew, a bunch of dumbasses. Ethan by himself, absolute G. I agree. I agree. Like ever since, like at first, I was kind of. At first, I was almost going to get Ethan fired until I realized that he's like a kid who respects me and will do his job well. But back in the day, I used to, it's because all of Ethan's friends, like the crowd that he hung around is a bunch of dumbasses. But... Yeah, I will agree. The uh, the I, I, I will agree. His friend group, stupidest people ever. Ethan by himself, though, literally like... One of my favorite employees. I, no, like, he's legit one of my favorite employees. There's some things that he does that even you won't do. Well, it's not that you won't do it, but you don't have the opportunity to do it because they're always going to take you away from me. Like, if I ask him, oh, Ethan, can you help me do everything in the walk-in? Yes, sir. Sure, boss. I got you, boss. No questions asked. Yeah, that's what I said, because you get taken away. Exactly. Either that or I don't have the manpower to have you do those things and I need you somewhere specific like service or something. But... Huh? Okay. Alright, good. We're chilling. Wait, can you check? Am I till 12 or till 1? Okay. That's true. Which I don't think it really matters. Depending on how many people we have to close, I might just give it to you. And then you get basically free hour because we'll fucking leave at 12.15. Like... Um, I think it's... Well, let me check. Okay, let's see. Mary Lou leaves at 11. Garrick stays till 1. You stay till 1. Yuri and Nelly stay till 1 too, don't they? And Yuri? Yuri stays till 11. It's basically just gonna be you, Garrig. Garrig uh, still leaves at 11. Wait. It's gonna be you, me, and Garrig after, after 11. Do you wanna close? Cause we'll leave. Like, if I have. If you help us close, we'll get done by 1230 at the latest, and yet you'll get clocked until 1. So. I guess. I mean, I'm already getting a half. Exactly, so that means that you'll get the full hour without any interference. So. Because normally, don't you do it with uh, Maria? Yeah, but Maria's not there, so therefore, it's not like. I take Maria's spot. Exactly. Fair enough. Might as well. If, if I'm gonna do it, then I'm gonna. I might bring my Switch. <laughs> Legendary. I can, I'm gonna tell you now, though, I am bringing a few Haritos. A few what? What is Haritos? The drink I bought. The oh! Spot. Yeah, those things. I'm just gonna be vibing with one in my hand. On headset, doing nothing. Pretty much. Either that or helping me clean shit. Like what? Once you get to a certain time, there's nothing to clean. Yeah, I know, but I mean like... Waiting. You know me, as soon as we close the lobby, I like bathrooms and whatever the fuck is... And then sweep and then mop and, and then... Everything else is normally done. Yeah, I love that. That's what I love. Why do you think I try to get stuff done early all the time? 
That way I can just vibe. That's why I always try to get stuff done ahead of time. Everything's done. Yeah. Throw it in the walk-in. That's true. Yeah. Like legit, back in the day, back in the day, I used to close quite literally just me and Maria, and we would get out at 12:40 with just us two. And this was when I first started doing it, like when I was a rookie with it. And now I know exactly what to do, so it's just a vibe. Yeah, because then they're going to turn black. Yep. I know that tomorrow's going to be a vibe. I just wish Maria was there, honestly. Okay. I will be playing Pokemon, just sitting there. You know me, I'm chill, like, when am I ever not chill with anything that you do, unless, like, there's a bunch of shit that needs to get done? But you already know that, so you don't start doing stupid shit until things are done. So I don't need yeah. to get on your ass for about you, that. When I close with you guys normally, you see me, most of the time I do stuff, until I know there's basically nothing else to do, and then I start dicking around. That's true. I'm the same exact way. Like, you and I, like, there's a reason they call you the me part, too. Because we do shit the same. Because we always get shit done. Like, every time I'm in charge, when do we not get shit done, honestly? Yeah, like, okay, when we close, I know, my, I know what I have to do. Normally, I clean up the, um, the window area, make sure everything's stocked in the lobby, and then in that window area, mm -hmm. like, sauces, all that type of stuff. Take out the trashes, take out the boxes. By then, we're basically done and ready to go. Yep. And then the and then Garrick's gonna do the li like, this is how I could see it happening. You and Garrick do the lion shit, and I do the manager shit. Okay, the lion shit should take us like ten minutes. Yeah. And then so the. What do, we have to, what do we have to do? Basically nothing. Basically just throwing everything in the walk-in, taking off the stuff, wiping it down again, which will take five minutes. This thing. Max. Like it's it's not hard. Yeah, it's not that. Like it, the phrase. Yeah, it's not that deep. Yeah, that's why I'm kind of staying up late now because I want to sleep in tomorrow, bust out homework, and then just vibe at work. Work is gonna be so fucking easy. Other than the fact that there's a game, like you said. Okay, it's homecoming. Oh yeah, homecoming, not not a game. But yeah. No, no, it's not. It's a home. It's the homecoming game. Ah. So it may be a little bit busy. It shouldn't be as bad as last week, because last week was Cory Bowl. True. Last week's Friday was ass. That was the first ass Friday ever. Yeah, last week's Friday was so, so much dick. Plus, we were quote unquote short. Fuck. I I'm not paying attention to my game, and I'm getting my ass handed to me for like the two seconds that I wasn't paying attention to my game. Yeah, last week we were short because we didn't have Maria. We still don't have Maria. Okay, Okay. you fucking dragon! Hold up, one second. Theoretically, we should be fine. We'll be fine. Like, we've dealt with worse. Like, remember the fucking Sunday? Yeah, it was chill. Remember the Sunday when I had like five people? Because he's a fucking... I don't know why Claudia hired that kid. She should already know from his brother that this kid is not going to do anything. He's working from 4, 3 to 8. What kind of shift is that? That guy... No, like, that guy pisses me off. I... I literally almost want to... If you weren't going to come, I would legit try to call out because of that guy. Honestly. 
If it wasn't for the fact that I knew you were coming, and Yuri's there, and Nelly's there. Okay, on tomorrow, the kid Armand is working from 3 to 5, and then on Saturday he's working from like 2.30 to 11, and on Sunday. Who the hell is Armand? I have no idea. Never met him in my life. And Claudia always goes out of her way to introduce kids to me because she knows that if they meet me, they'll get trained. The only reason why Mike is not trained for shit is because... Actually, Ethan's a really fucking good teacher. I'm not gonna lie. He's a really good teacher. No, but I think Maria should trust me more for how long I've worked there, and since she knows who I am. That's true. But yeah, Ethan, I trust he, Ethan. I know he's a good Garrett teacher. Garrett was having me, like, he's like, yeah, show him, like, the training, like, the training screen or whatever, and then start quizzing them on shit. Yeah. Maria, you see, that's one thing that I'm getting frustrated with. Is that I think that Micah is not exactly the best at his job, but that's because Maria doesn't let me teach him. Because Maria always says, "Oh." Maria's Maria like, "Oh, don't give him the headset when he should be learning how to do it." Yeah. Okay, by now Micah should have learned the headset. I learned headset in like the first week. I was soloing headset, like, for th this was so fucked up. You know what Maria used to do to me? She used to make you solo headset. She does to me what I do to Brianna and I feel bad for Brianna because I do the same the reason one of the reasons I wanted to become a manager is because of the shit Maria did to me back in the day like Maria's my favorite no doubt but let me just give you some context real quick I'll pause my game oh, yeah. oh, did, did you know that uh, Yuri got offered another got offered manager and she declined it again this is her third time now yeah she doesn't want to be a manager so I think um Getting close to being next on the list, if, depending on how much longer I stay. Probably. I don't know why she denies it, though. It's so fucking easy. I do it. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because, uh... Offers, offers it to me, I'm taking it. Yeah, I know why she doesn't like it. Just because of the fact that the scheduling would be asked. But I... I'm glad she doesn't, because then she would fucking try to tell me to do shit. And you know me, I hate it when... If your name isn't Maria, Claudia, or Vero, anytime anybody tells me to do something, I hate it. And you know that I hate it. And most of the time, I'll just say, fuck no. But then, if Yuri's manager, she'll actually have a case okay. in point. Okay, there's four people that I know you would do it. Obviously, Maria, Claudia, and Vero, and Leticia. No, not at all, actually. Really? No, a lot of the times, it's because here's the thing is that, back in the day, Leticia always used to scold me. Like, I would get annoyed by it, too. Leticia always used to scold me. Oh, mijo, you have to do this. Oh, mijo, you're doing this wrong. Mijo, mijo. And then you know how I am. I give my little smirk, and I say, oh, okay. And then I just keep doing whatever the fuck it was that I'm doing. The wrong way anyways. Just because you don't care. Because I get shit done anyways. Mm -hmm. Like, the real question is, my methods might not always be the right way, quote-unquote, but when do I ever not get shit done? True. And when is it ever... Me. Like, unless... Me. I may I may dick around a lot, but I get shit done. Exactly. Look, look at... Like, and, I, and, and I get it done well. Like, very, very well. Take a look at this scheduling and tell me what you see. Tell me the first thing that you notice. What schedule? Uh, or the board. Look at the board. It's set up well. <laughs> Brianna, by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Maria used to do that shit to me. But, like, here's the thing is that when I do it to Brianna, I do it as a joke. I will give Brianna... I gave Brianna Trenic that day. But, yes, I will give Brianna somebody to help her out. Maria? Did she give me anybody? No. <laughs> and you see still to this day that everybody what keeps what trying I, to take my work. Let me see. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's what Maria used. To, that's why I wanted to become a manager, so that way I could say fuck that. Somebody help me out, rather than have me fucking carrying everything on my goddamn back. You know what? I wouldn't mind becoming a manager. Why? Because you see how fucking easy it is. I don't know why fucking Maria gets stressed out. It's it's pretty easy. I do a lot of the I command 
people around anyways. Well, it's not just that. Like, there's a lot more to managers than just commanding shit, but... Okay, obviously, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, I do, like, the commanding portion. As Sergeant says, I'm the unappointed leader. Yeah, pretty much. I kind of just sit around. Oh, Micah, go do this real quick. True. Like, I, here's the thing is, off of, off of doing the line, I've learned when to, um, what, what they need help with and when they need it. So, like, um, like, obviously, like, oh, I can tell that the trashes are getting full, so what do I do? Oh, I'm on headset by myself. That's fine. Micah can go do the trashes real quick. So I'm surprised you're saying you learned practice. it from that rather than, like, because that's basically the exact same thing that I do, isn't it? What? I walk around the store and say, oh, this needs to be done. Either I'll do it myself or I'll tell somebody to do it if I'm busy soloing because I'm always carrying on guest service. Because I'm always scheduled with incompetent fuckers on service. So I'm like, oh, I'll take the headset, you do this, that, and the other thing. Me, who's trying to get scheduled with you on night shifts because I know you get asked people on service. And then fucking Garrig and Maria. Oh, Frosto's here. Let's take him online real quick. Exactly. I always end up getting screwed. Well, remember the strat that I taught you. Duck! <laughs> I've started using the strat more and more and more. And guess what? My time online has been decreasing. Good. That's exactly what I did. Because don't you see that, like, if you ask Ethan, okay. he had a full... I'm not gonna lie. Go ahead. I, pretty much basically, I showed up today, popped on headset because Trenic was off. Mm -hmm. I stayed on headset until my first break, and then I didn't touch headset again for the, basically until my, until the kids left. Okay, why? What did I do? I didn't even touch line. What did you I do? walking around doing random shit. I like see. just doing random tasks. If and then he... occasionally popping in by the window and paying a few people out. That's but kind of... Most... But for the most part, I was kind of just wandering around doing stuff. That can be seen as good or bad, as long as you're doing the right things. No, I was doing the right things. Like, I was either... I was A, taking out trashes, A, cle B, cleaning something, C, doing something for Maria... Or Derek. Like, those those three things. And then E, paying out somebody at the window. You know, I know why you were able to do that. Because you had... Didn't you have Ethan for service, right? I had Ethan, Micah, Garrett, and me. And at one point the other kid, Nate. Yeah, so... Like, we had that many people on service, and I was just wandering around doing a random shit. Well, the fact that you needed to wander around and do random shit just goes to show you how stupid some of the, like, goes to show you how stupid the rookies are. Yeah, a lot of, okay, I'm not gonna lie, a lot of my time was spent monitoring, monitoring them. Good. Kind of monitoring, like, just watching over Micah specifically, because, I don't know, I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was talking a lot to Micah, just, like, randomly. I'm not gonna lie, considering how long Micah's been here, he should be a lot better at his job. Okay, okay. Don't even argue against it. I can tell the kid doesn't really care. Neither do I. Micah? So pairs together. Huh? Huh? Micah? Yeah. He's got... Dude. I feel like... He's it got... really matter, though. He's got what now? Nothing. Never mind. No, you were cutting in and out. That's why. Nah, it's... Never mind. I'm just gonna say right now, though, like... He's lucky that he doesn't get scheduled with me on Sundays anymore, because if he did, he would be on line 24-7. Yeah. I don't know, we needed him on Sunday nights, so. though. Sunday nights, we have, like, no one. Yeah. We had, last Sunday night, we had legit no one. If I'm being honest with you, though, like, anybody who I see as worthless in service, which is hard to be, it's hard to be stupid in service, I am... Always tempted to just throw them online. And There's then, one person on the top of my list. I think you know who he is. Garrett? No, the itch. 
we can't do that because he'll fuck up the line. Uh, yeah, pretty much everything he touches, he fucks up. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, if you get Garrett on Sunday mornings, I'm assuming you're throwing him on the line. Yes, and if he does bad, I'm going to tell Claudia about how much of a shitty job he's doing, and hopefully he gets fired. <laughs> you really don't want him here. No, I don't. That's funny. Alright, I'm probably gonna hop off. Okay. It, wait, tell me a little bit about his brother. Tell me a little bit about his brother, because... His brother's... A dumbass. That's the best way I can put it. He's, he's fucking stupid. How did you know him? How did you know the brother? From school, like he was in my graduating class. Ah. Uh. And I had a few classes with him over the years. I'm assuming he wasn't in ROTC, was he? Good. Core already has enough dumb people in it right now. Well, what has enough in it? The core already has enough dumb asses in it right now. I mean, yeah. I'm the one who convinced Kenneth to drop it. And he's like praising me for it now. That's something I was a little bit disappointed in the kid with dropping it. No, trust. You do not want to go through that. The way it's... the, the direction it's gone... It's like, the class is such a burden that, like, it's not even worth it. Isn't it also, like, World War Three now because everybody hates each other in that class? Yes. Dude, back in my day, it was just, like... no chemistry in the classes, like, whatsoever. That's just so sad. It is. You remember my days when it was just, like, everybody was just cool. We had fucking Juarez. You remember Juarez? And fucking... Yeah. Garcia, 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 Johnny Vise, Aiden Smith. Back when the core was so lit that, like, you couldn't do shit to, like, bring it down. Yeah. And then they all graduated. Or left, in my case, because of fucking homelessness or needing to move homes. Mm -hmm. Nah, I remember Vise. That shit was so funny having him in class. Oh yeah, for always, sure. He would always piss off Sergeant, Sergeant wouldn't do shit about it. And here's the thing though, is that he would get his job done. Vyze would always do his job. So he okay. wasn't one of those shitty I, bad cadets. I, I ain't gonna lie, he was always super unreliable though. <laughs> well, what I mean by does his job is that he doesn't bring the core down like the rest of these cadets do. Okay. Here's, no, no, no. Vyze? Would, um... He would rarely do stuff, but when he did do it, it would get done right, in a, in a, in a very, very, like, good way. Exactly. He's like, he's like you. If you don't want to do that shit, it's not getting done. He's like me, like, you see me on regular days versus me on Sundays. <laughs> yes. Me on Sundays, S-tier manager, probably top three managers in Taco Bell. And, and he somehow finds a way to weave him out of it every time yep he, he will one second he has everyone blaming him the next second everyone's blaming someone else and it's all because he said something or yeah came up with some bs and it was the funniest shit ever true you know who else was like that in rotc me to be honest with you because here's the thing no, is no that was smith that was smitty oh yeah smitty him too. But here's like. Both of them. What was. Yeah, I'd, I'd say like. I'd say the three of us. Because here's the thing is that we both had our own little conflict. And, and, Garcia, and, Gar and Garcia, Garcia was the mastermind of it. That's true. And Juarez. Juarez too. Remember when I was like. I would literally just let them talk during inspections. I didn't care. Yeah, I remember that. Well, here's the thing is I knew. No matter how, what grade I gave them, they were still going to do it anyway, so halfway through I just gave up. Not only that, but you knew that they were like fucking... No, well, they were t every time I'd walk by, they're talking about the funniest shit ever, and it would just get me cracking up. Not only that, but they were AS3s, so therefore they had that kind of like... 
And, and you... Horus was a squadron commander at the time, so I couldn't do shit to his grade or else he would fuck up my grade. Exactly, that's what I was about to say, is that if you fucked with them, you'd get GG'd. Yeah, and the time when there were all three of them were on squadron, I was... And I was the flight commander, I was like, bro, come on! You're like, bro, I'm getting overpowered here. It was either shit on them and get shit on myself, or be chill with them and I get chill. And I get absolutely blessed. You know what's hella funny? Is that... They gave me a hundred on every single squadron inspection. I'm not surprised. Because I gave them... Okay. I ain't gonna lie, Sergeant basically told me... Like, okay, I know they're talking, I know they're doing this, that, and the other thing. You have to punish them at some point. I'm like, yeah, I know, I know. And then I would always come up with some BS, like, oh yeah, they're improving, they're, they're actually improving. In reality, they weren't. And then I I came up to them tr truthfully, I'm like, okay. Either I have to give you the, the grade how it is, or Sergeant's just gonna, like, absolutely bomb you guys. And they're like, yeah, we know. Just give us, like, an 80 or some shit. <laughs> Yeah. Like, they told, straight up told me, like, Morris was like, yeah, just give me an 80. Like, before the inspection even started, he's like, yeah, just give me an 80 and it'll be fine. I'm like, okay. <laughs> How was it that I always got away with shit in ROTC? I forgot. I know I got away with Helen back, but what was the story behind that? I don't know. I remember the few times when we would switch flight command. I know that Aiden Fitzer... I feel like he didn't like me. And no, he just thought you were funny as hell. <laughs> that's true. I think that's it. The fact that... It's because ROTC I took seriously and I also didn't. Because I always wanted to be an AS4, but I wasn't allowed to join my freshman year because of special ed. Uh, like the circumstances between them occupying a class and me only getting one elective. And I had to choose Spanish, otherwise I would lose what I had. So, I was like... Fuck, I'm going to take the class seriously, but I'm also going to just play around. It's basic. I was basically like how I am as an employee. And then, here's the thing, is that since I was in the same... Like, I'll be honest with you. Since all of you guys were my underclassmen, cause you, and also the fact that I'm old for my grade, you guys, like, when I was, like, 17, you guys were, like, 15 or 14. So, I ain't going to lie. None of you guys intimidated me, and I would just play around, and yet all you guys knew that, so you guys would let me get away with Helen back. And I also was, like, a good cadet, so I would, like, all the cadets that were actually, like, bitches, I'd actually, like, get on them. And basically, well, you remember what I used to do. I used to fuck people up. <laughs> so I think that probably added to it. And also I was respectful, because I did respect people. Yeah. Uh, the caffeine has worn off. Real quick, what would you say, like, was your best year in ROTC? Sophomore year? Easily freshman year. Freshman year? Yeah, I did. Oh, actually, no, sophomore year, because I, cause I got flight commander, and I basically just got to sit, sit around. And that's when we were in, like, the same class. We weren't in the same flight. But I remember you and I, we used to chill. It was you, me, and Decker before he became an L. Yeah. Such a shame. Still such a shame. Alright, you have a good night, my brother. I'll see you tomorrow at work. The true disappointment himself. The double disappointment. The double Ds. Uh, it's, such, it's so sad. I'm just glad... Here's the thing. Okay. Every time I hear the word double Ds, I, I just think of double disappointment Decker. Yeah, that's facts. Let me, like... Dude, I told you about how he went to a fucking... Like, how he was trying to kill himself with pills because of that girl, right? With what pills? Fucking Advil? I don't remember. You could take a whole ass bottle of that shit, you'd be fine. I don't remember what exactly he was trying to kill himself with. I just know that he was, and that's extremely disappointing. I'm like, bro, over a girl? Come on now. Like, she wasn't the love of your life, dude. There's something called moving on. Like, fuck. We gave him literally the sagest of advice ever. What did he do? He said, fuck that. And... He went on and did stupid shit. Like, why? He I gave him the best possible advice you could ever give. 
And he said, <laughs> Exactly, but I still don't understand. Like, what the hell went wrong? Like, what the hell was so... Down syndrome mode. What the hell was so special about that girl that made him fucking go sicko mode? He wasn't like that with Bridget. Hey, well, it's Bridget. She's fucking like, she's like a trainee, bro. Pretty much. If it wasn't for bro code, I probably would have tried, though. I ain't gonna lie. Bro, actually? I'm not gonna lie. She, I feel like I would have stood a chance with Bridget. I feel like, I feel like at, maybe not now, but I feel like at one point in time she was attracted to me. I felt the same way. She like... I don't know. I think it was just the way she acted. Maybe. Alright. Now it's time. Yeah. We keep saying we go to bed and then we end up getting on another topic, so... It's because we I keep ha we actually have, like, you and I know each other and we have good things to talk about. Unlike 50% of the other fucking people on this fucking world. <laughs> Honestly. Alright. See ya. See ya, brother. What? What the hell? Are you kidding me? What just happened? Are you joking?
How did I know that was going to happen? Dude, what? Bro. Alright, 
I'm gonna just call it a night.